Welcome to our next video installment of our product highlight. We hope you guys have enjoyed a few of these that we've posted already. And if you haven't seen them, go ahead and check back on our former videos. And if you want to make sure that you're notified of future videos coming out, subscribe to our channel and like this video so that you can see the ones coming out here in the near future. So moving forward, you've seen some of our other products. I would say one of our most popular products out there in terms of how many things that we sell throughout the given year is our flies. So currently, as we're sitting right now, we actually have some flies coming in a couple days when we're filming this video, actually I think tomorrow, but we probably have somewhere in the range of 300,000 flies in stock. That sounds like a lot. We're actually working on getting a bunch more, adding some patterns and getting a better variety overall for you guys. But uh, one of our big products that we do sell, we have one of our cases here in the fly shop of all of these flies through these top two drawers are all tungsten beads. So we have a selection up here that are all what we call our Euro or tactical flies, whatever you want to call them. They're on a barbless jig and then they have tungsten beads on them. So a slotted tungsten bead on our barbless jigs to be able to adhere to a lot of the Euro or tight line nymphing that a lot of you guys are doing out there, ladies as well. Um, so if you're out there and you have one of our 23 PS nymph rods, which you might see in another product highlight down the road. These are some of the flies that you're gonna to wanna to have with you. The main reason why people are moving from brass into tungsten is tungsten is right around twice as heavy as brass. So it's just a denser metal and it allows us to sink some flies a little bit quicker than your typical brass beads that we've had for decades and decades. So these flies are really built to sink as quick as we can get down to the bottom. We range most of these flies from sizes 10 to 18. The bead size will also be according to the hook size, so a little bit bigger bead for your bigger hook sizes, smaller for your smaller ones. We range from our 18s are two and a halfs, um, actually twos, two and a half, three, three and a halfs, and fours. So we've got a wide range of our uh, bead sizes to be able to attach onto those hooks before our flies are tied there. These are all tied by professionals. We have them made, um, sometimes we're getting 30, 40,000 uh, flies a month coming through here and we have top quality control on our fly tires. We actually have two commercial groups that are tying specifically for us for our custom patterns. So we get a lot of great reviews off of our website. So if you've ever looked around at other websites and you're not curious, you know, you're a little bit curious as to why should I buy from Risen Fly compared to some of the other, these other companies out there, check out the reviews on our website. We sell tons of flies and we get a lot of people that absolutely love them, both for the variety of patterns that we have, the quality and also of our pricing. So for these flies, um, they're gonna range in right around $2 a piece. Um, and then also make sure that you remember anytime that you order off of our website, when you order a half dozen of the exact same fly, you're gonna get a discount. So we do that for all of our flies, whether it's a dry fly, a nymph, a streamer, saltwater patterns, we've got a discount when you order a half a dozen. So kind of our little bulk discount that we give to everybody too. So these flies are ranging from flies from our ever popular mop flies, to Frenchies, to um, red darts, to some of these other patterns out there that are Euro specific. And then we also have some of our tungsten flies that are built on a barbed hook, but just a tungsten bead. Your typical patterns like pheasant tails, prince nymphs, um, scuds, uh, zebra midges, all these types of patterns out there that are kind of tried and true. We have some on the barless jigs, but then we also have some on our typical nymph hooks as well with that tungsten bead to help get it down a little bit farther. So the next time you're looking to go out and nymph, I actually recommend that we don't only just use tungsten for the people that are out there, you're a nymphing or tight line nymphing. Have some different weights, both different sizes of hooks with the different weights like I referenced before, but don't be afraid to throw uh, an unweighted nymph or a brass bead nymph. So that, that hits a different water column than your really heavy tungsten bead too. So have a mixture when you put your next order in on our website, having a good amount of tungsten beads so we can get down quick. But if you're running a tandem rig with two or more flies, try throwing in some of our unweighted nymphs or our brass bead nymphs. We can talk about that at a later date too and build that in so that you're hitting a couple different water columns. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you hasn't, haven't subscribed already, hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and you'll be notified the next time we put out one of these great videos. If you have any questions on anything too, comment below. We'll be more than happy to get to them on an individual basis. And hop on our website, www.risenfly.com. If you need some links, they're right below here in the description. Thank you guys again. Enjoy your day, and we appreciate you watching.